I'm here with Rocky Hansen, who just broke sub four again in the mile. How did you feel out there? Uh, I felt pretty good. It was a competitive race. It was fun to be out there with one of the most talented fields ever in high school running. And we're very privileged to live in a time where there's this many guys running this well. And I'm so thankful for the opportunity to come around here with some incredible athletes and an incredible atmosphere. So it's a great race. Uh, I felt all right. There were definitely some mistakes made, and I'm just going to scrutinize it, look at what I did wrong, and improve for the future. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, they brought a very legit pace to the pace, you guys. I mean, there was talks about trying to break that 353 record. What was your race plan coming in? Uh, I knew that that race record is very ambitious, especially at this stage. So I was thinking, I'm just going to kind of feel it out. So that's what I did. And we ended up getting off the pace anyway. And I feel like we were, we were all just kind of like, we underestimated it a little bit, but I stayed on those guys. I kind of felt it out. I moved up gradually throughout the race and tried to unleash my kick at the end, but I got caught up a little bit at 200 to go by some previous, some earlier in the race mistakes. So uh, I'm just going to look them through on that in the future. So this is your second sub four mile. Which one felt harder, the first one or this one? The first one felt harder because I was coming off a DMR at Penn Relays two days before. So I had a little bit of gunk in the legs and I was also traveling a lot. like. We drove to Penn Relays for nine, nine, eleven hours. Well, it was like eleven since we went to DC, and DC traffic is terrible. <laughs> I know. But then, uh, we drove back down to Charlottesville, and so it was like, I don't know, seventeen hours of driving in two days. So that kind of lays in your legs. So the first one felt harder than this one. Yeah, I mean, you just spoke about how stacked this race was. Two more new sub four milers in high yeah. school. Like, just speak on that and like the death of high school running. It, it's so incredible. It, it's it, it's really great to see people just starting to figure out and really do more than they think they're capable of. I feel like a lot of the problem with high school running and with running in general is people get way too attached to the numbers, to the paces, and they constantly compare themselves to other people. And it's super to This is like, and a lot of people compare themselves to other people. It's super toxic, it's not healthy, but it's great to see people really starting to not see this as a barrier, because it's not. Like, we're all capable of doing this. We can all do great things if we work together. So I'm very happy that people are starting to realize that and really push past what we thought was possible. So what is this on the schedule as far as racing for the rest of the summer? I'm going to Brooks PR in Seattle, and then I'm going to Nike Outdoor Nationals. And last question, what do you do to celebrate a big race like this? What do you go out and eat? Uh, I mean, I'll probably celebrate with the people closest to me. I'll, I'll celebrate with my dad. I'll go home and uh, celebrate with my teammates and my coach and the rest of my family. And then I'll start uh, looking at what I did wrong and looking to improve in the future. Absolutely. Well, congrats and best of luck with this season. Thank you. I appreciate it.